Yeah. And so what do you get? Go ahead. What do you yeah. get? Do you get the yeah. bill and the overhead? Yeah, everything. That's all we yeah. want. Yes. Yeah, bill and the overhead is good. Yeah. All right, let him come. Let him come. Let him come. It's worth filming, so just don't move on. Thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to be here. Okay. Gene, why'd you come next? Okay. All right, Kelly, just give us the okay. When you're in. Yep. All right. Hello, my name is William David Spencer. Uh, we're here at Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary. This is my colleague, Gene DeFazio. And we're here to tell you about our new book, Redeeming the Screens uh, Living Stories of Media Ministers Bringing the Message of Jesus Christ to the Entertainment Industry, House of Brisk and Aquila. Gene, tell us a little about your, uh, about your background. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's just wonderful to be back at CUME with the future of the church, all the bright and beautiful students. I had the opportunity to co-author with Dr. William David Spencer, Flip Please, and uh, for 13 years I also had the opportunity uh, as a young actress to work with all of the contributing authors of this book, Flip Please. And we ha I just want to mention their names. We have the extraordinary Ted Bear, uh, founder of Movie Guide. Go ahead. Yes, we have Alva Soler, a remarkable founder of Estuary Ministries. Go ahead. Thank you, Ben, for doing a remarkable job. We have the extraordinary Susan Stafford, former hostess on Wheel of Fortune, chaplain to the stars, and psychologist. Go ahead, Flip. And we have the extraordinary and delightful Bob Yerkes, Hollywood stuntman and Circus of the Stars stuntman. Go ahead and flip over. Thank you. We have Josie Pollock, the witty and ex oh, former hula hoop queen and chaplain to the LA penal system. Go ahead. Flip. And we have character actor Mel Novak, founder of Heavenly Men Incorporated and chaplain to the uh, penal system and chaplain to Skid Row. As you see, we are in the classroom, so our students are coming in. We welcome that. This is a thriving, diverse, wonderful campus. Go ahead and flip. We have Sherry Pedigo right there with Joanne Cash, Johnny Cash's sister at the Cowboy Church. A delightful, real testament. Go ahead, Ben. You're doing a great job over there. And Martha Reyes, Hosanna Foundation, uh, a, a, a doctor, doctoral candidate in psychology who, who, who counsels the abused of Hosanna Foundation. Go ahead and flip over. We have April Shenandoah, former uh, actress, extra author extraordinaire, and a longtime minister in the Hollywood community. Once again, Ben, you're doing a great job over there. Ah, be a buyer in memoriam. The wonderful lady gave Dr. Spencer's book, Name in the Papers, uh, an award to the Motion Picture Council. And um, I, I was so grateful to get her chapter before she passed. Go ahead, Ben, we're almost done. Gemma, her daughter, host of Beauty for Ashes, pastor of Gemma. Winger Ministries, uh, an extraordinary human being. I'm uh, just grateful for all of her input and how she's interviewed so many of the contributing authors on her show. One more, let's see what we have next. Ah, oh, Charlene Ever, founder of World Alliance for Peace and Caretakers of the Future. Charlene has an extraordinary story of healing, miraculous healing from cancer. One more time, Ben. We have Joanne Petronella, Christ in you, the hope of glory, a remarkable minister of God's Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Whoa! Okay. Yes, Leanne Pendergrass with Shirley Boone, a delightful young lady who captures people's hearts and, and brings souls to Jesus through her program, Uniting the Nations. Once again, we'll do a flip. Bob Reith, MFI, Media Fellowship International, I worked for them and have benefited immensely from Bob's ministry. All right, we're almost to the close, and we have Linda. Did we skip Larry? Go back. Larry, yes. No. No, this is the next one. 
All right, well, we forgot. Somehow we didn't miss Larry. All right, well, Larry is in there right before Linda, so maybe I didn't mark it, but that's Linda Bear Smith, who ministers at Cathedral of Love. See if you can find Larry, because I've got the, if we'll, the other way. Yeah, the other way, it's the next chapter. See? Right after, between the yeah, yeah. No, after yeah. that. Right. Yeah, Ben, you're doing the wrong mark. There it is, Larry, Dr. Larry <laughs> Abernathy, founder of Cathedral of Love. I want to thank you for listening. If you get this book, there are testimonies that will really touch your heart for Jesus. Dr. Spencer is going to come right now and talk about his chapter and his conclusion. You want me to stay here? Yes, yeah, stay here. All right. All right. Uh, this is an interesting book. A lot of people um, you know, complain about what happens in Hollywood. Uh, it's just not putting out things that are family friendly. But at the same time, we're noticing that there's an improvement in many of the films that come down. And that's because there's been a, a, a very intensive move among people in the entertainment media uh, to embrace the gospel, to share the gospel, and to change what's being put out to us. And what you're seeing here in this book is a little wrap-up. Um, I was a musician for uh, about six years, and so um, I had a little, little flirting with uh, uh, sort of semi-professionalism, but um, Gene invited me in uh, as the, uh, the, the professor of theology and the arts here. And so I did this chapter, and I did the conclusion. What I did was I saw the themes, the biblical themes, that the Holy Spirit was raising among these, uh, these wonderful saints, and then the impact that they have. And so we decided to put the book out. We spent several years on it, bringing it together. Uh, we're very pleased, and we, we hope it's uh, going to support all of these ministries, give you all hope, and those who want to en enter the entertainment ministry to be encouraged without the Lord's work. It's a tough challenge. It's a challenging mission field, but all of you are the future of the church, and I see how the Lord's going to use you mightily. That's my prayer each day when I come to class. We have to close, but we want to thank all of you out there in television land, satellite globally around the world, for being with us. Yes, and Cohen Kim, who did the filming for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cohen. All right, now we're ready for class.